All right, guys. So here we are. There is Ginger. There is Ginger. <laughs> so I want to share with you just how I uh, I plant my ginger. Nothing special. It is just the way that I do it. Yeah. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, this is ginger. Now, you know, sometimes many will um, soak their ginger and um, and have their ginger, uh, you know, getting shoots out, and, you know. And that's cool. That's cool. But I just don't do that. <clears throat> because it's just, what, what it does is it just makes it grows faster. I'm not looking for something to grow faster for me I'm not I'm just looking for it to grow that's all I'm not in a hurry with this thing I just wanted to I want to enjoy the process that's all I want to do yeah so the wonderful thing about ginger is that you can put ginger all over your garden all over your garden just stick it in you know a bed with something um, you know with peas or with anything uh, it will grow cool just you know stick it in a place just like you would stick a, a garlic clove or uh, some onion seeds just stick it in there and it'll grow well and it will not interrupt the growing process of any other vegetable that's in that bed ginger likes well-drained soil yeah she don't like so uh, soggy soil but weird enough, she likes to stay moist. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, go figure. Go figure. So, as far as the sun, she likes, she, she will grow well in the sun. She'll grow well in the shade. What she does like a lot of is humidity. And here in my Zone 9 garden, <laughs> I got it for. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this ginger and uh, I'm not going to break it up really small because I just don't like the small pieces. I want it to say like this. I'm going to break this into three pieces. That's what I'm going to do. Give me a second. All right. There we go. <clears throat> so there is no, you know, it's almost like potatoes. You know, she will find her way. She will find her way to the sun believe me she knows which way is up she do so six inches you know just plant her about six inches below is fine she'll be fine and just cover her up just like that yeah now what I want to do is I'm gonna give her some uh, fertilizer some granulated fertilizer, bone meal, blood meal. I have some other kind of goodies in here too. It's all right here. And I'm just gonna put it all around in here like that. Just circle her like that. Now I'm gonna give her some um, 511 when I'm done because she like it. <laughs> she likes 511 so. I'm going to give it to her. And that's how you plant ginger. So I'm going to break up the other piece I have. Now that's flowers I have over there. I'm just going to, they were in another pot. And I'm just going to lay them over here. And hopefully they'll love it over here and start to grow. So I need to break up the other one. Oh my, I broke it and it smells so good. Oh wow, it smells good. <laughs> but you just put it six inches down. And there is your ginger. Now you could put this in beds, in pots, you know, any way you want to. Ginger is not fussy. She's not a fussy girl. Oh. 
she don't mind. So now I'm just going to give her some 511 and she'll be doing her thing. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, so there it is. All right. Here we go. Ginger is planted. All right, guys. So, this is one of my tomato plants. Sorry about my hands, guys, but <laughs> yeah, I've been in it. <laughs> so, check this out. This is what happened to this plant. It looks like something just chewed it. As you can see, look at there. Something just chewed it. So, what I think it is, cutworms. And that's what they are called, cutworms. So, if you've never seen a cutworm, if I can't find one out here right now, here's a picture of one right there. So, if you see your plants sometimes and they are, um, they are cut like that and they're just dying, maybe, just maybe. And usually it's when you are growing in the ground. If you're growing in the ground, yeah, this is something you may see in your garden, right? So I'm going to put another <laughs> tomato plant here. There she is. I'm going to take all this good little stuff off. And we're going to put her in here again. I need to get this deeper. All right, get her way down in there so I can get her in there. All right, so now I'm just use some of this over here, put it in there. But uh, yeah, cutworms, yeah, uh, they can be uh, terrible in a in-ground garden, in-ground. Of course, you won't have that with your bagged soil. But if you're growing in ground and you see something like that, it could be cutworms. Yeah, so you plant the rest of these babies out. All right, guys, I just wanted to share. And that was just toilet tissue roll I cut in half. Let's hope. I'm going to keep my eye on her. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a gift from Sarah. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Let me see something. One second. So this is from Sarah. And Sarah says, I haven't been able to keep up with all the videos since we are expecting our baby girl in mid-April. Also, Hoping these girl bags work for you like it did last time from Sarah. Sarah, thank you, my love. Thank you so much. So, Sarah sent me some girl bags, and they are from that uh, root pouch that she sent last time. Well, there is 10 girl bags in here. Yeah, it's 10 of them in here. And I think they're five-gallon bags. I'm not sure, but I think they are. Yeah, they are five-gallon bags. Yeah. And there is ten brown bags in here. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. And I will drop in something in them very soon. Yeah, maybe like those kohlrabis, huh? <laughs> yeah, they did really, really good last time. And congratulations on your baby girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't know that you all was expecting, but that is such a blessing. Such a blessing. But anyway, I thank you, sweetheart. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you see this video. But if you don't, I do understand. I do understand. All right, my love. Thank you. Yeah. Hi guys, this is Jada, the Orleans Gardener's granddaughter, and 
one of my strawberries are ready to harvest. Yes. <laughs> so, we're going to get it? Yep. See if you need a, use your nails. Use your fingernails. Right here. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yep. All right. Hey, hey. It's strawberry and it's huge. It's big. That mm -hmm. is big. Awesome, Jada. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves you. She loves you. <laughs> So, I have these bags, got these ready, we're going to drop some more seeds. Yeah. So I have some bags filled up. This is some morning glories I harvest from my garden last season. Yeah. So I'm just going to put some of these around here, kind of crush them as I drop them. They're still in their little cases. Yeah. So I'm gonna just do all of these because you know, you know, you know. I have this little cup sitting around. So I'm going to drop these uh, poppies in here. It's a, it's a beautiful morning. It's just so windy out here. It's just so windy. Windy, windy. All right. Uh, I'm going to drop some verbena in here. Now all of these packs of seeds that I have here, this is from last season. I never um, opened. And, yeah, yeah, I didn't even drop all of those. But put those in another part of the garden. Yeah, that one. And we gotta drop some. These are the symbols people. Forty-one. Get rid of it. So 
gonna put them to work, baby. Put them to work. Uh, I have a small amount of these California poppies in here. We're just gonna drop them. Just gonna drop them and let them get it. But it's just a small amount in here. Get rid of that pack. And these little cool uh, asters, pastel colors. Yeah, I think I probably maybe got about one or two of these colors, uh, these little plants, but we're going to try it again. I'm just going to put them all in there. Just going to have ourselves a bucket of flowers, I tell you. A bucket of flowers. <laughs> all right, now, so we're going to take this couple. So I'll fill it back up and we're just going to cover them up. family now. Do your thing now. Mm -hmm. So these are the ones I'm going to drop today. And yes, I have some growing. I have some growing. Uh, I planted them in the bed. I have more in cups and I want to drop more. So this is some Cherokee purple, some black crim, big boy hybrid, I'm going to drop another Kellogg's. Did, it, did you see that? Yeah, Kellogg. The classics. That beauty. <laughs> Kentucky beef steak. I'm going to drop more of these. Uh, beets. And this lemon gum. Uh, scented, uh, yeah, uh, I like uh, the smell of uh, eucalyptus eucalyptus and that's what this is so I've never grown it before so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna drop more of these I have some growing and these and I can't wait to taste these peppers and these peppers and there we are back so that's what I'm gonna drop in these cups mm -hmm. 